should be checking out. So I definitely recommend uh, doing so. So we are going to get winner's finals before we get out of here for tonight, folks. It's going to be DM versus Pelka. Uh, you know, two people, I'm sure. Most people probably expected to be here, you know. So it's going to be Aegis versus Snake here. I'm, I'm super excited. Oh, absolutely. This is going to be one hell of a winner's finals here. We got we got DM who has been doing so well with his um, advantage day here in Pelka, able to keep people from doing it on him. So we'll see how that interacts. Yeah, again, it's going to be one of those cases where, uh, you know, Snake, when he's in advantage, I'm sure he's going to do fine. Uh, in disadvantage, it's probably going to be difficult for him. Uh, I'm curious what Pelka's experience in this matchup is. I imagine not much, <laughs> considering, you know, uh, you know, we're still getting back into the, into the swing of things and offline and, uh, you know, but we'll see here. Uh, you know, Pelka is, again, a wily old veteran of multiple Smash games as well. Uh, so. Yeah, he's, he's actually fought uh, DMV just quite a bit uh, over, over at Game Underground. So, right, rather, yeah, rather they whatever be fine, he attends. Then. So... He's got a little bit of experience, specifically with DM Aegis, so that's definitely going to be very helpful to him. Yeah, and, and already a benefit to him as he's... Trying to... He's able to keep out Pyra very easily, but Mithra is a little bit harder for him. Yeah, there's a little bit of, there's going to be a little bit of a wrinkle here in this matchup. It's going to be awkward because Pyra, you know, uses a lot of fire in her moves as that trade will take that stock for, uh, for, uh, for uh, Pelka. Uh, it's going to disrupt a lot of the grenade usage uh, from Pelka. So it's going to maybe see Snake scrap a little bit more than you're used to as the down smash will just weaken into the first row of seats. Wow. And... Tough stuff, man. It's, it's been a high-intensity match so far. Absolutely. Extremely volatile. Whenever whenever somebody gets a high amount of damage, it's the next person's turn. You know, they're take, taking turns. How, how gentlemanly of them. Yeah, it is. How, how kind of them. It's, it's, my turn to, it's my turn to be an advantage. All right, here you go. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh! Not quite gentlemanly there of DM going off stage for that cheeky little F, F, F there. Yeah, tough That's stuff cool. right there for, uh, for, Pel uh, for Pelka. I think the grenade actually blew up. Uh, maybe not on his own accord, but regardless, uh, it set him up perfectly to be teed off by, uh, teed off on by DM. Yeah, Pelican. Oh, brother. Where art thou? Jeez, that almost takes it. Yeah, Snake is so heavy, though, but that would have been a heartbreaker if he was any other character. Yeah, that's some tough, that was some tough stuff, man. DM looking awfully solid. Uh, playing like a player possessed right now. Yeah. Pelka just keeping it cool and calm, though. Right, able to get around uh, the recovery right there, but still having a hard time securing the stock. Right, slowly but surely, trying to get damage on the board here, but DM's uh, continuing to extend his lead here. Yeah, and that F till ooh, with the rage, that's definitely going to kill them. Yeah, tough stuff there for Pelka. Uh, you know, DM just looked like a... Looks like he had a real good handle on what that matchup was uh, serving up for him there. So, oh, absolutely, uh, you got you got to know um, how to like weave in between um, Snake's grenades, his C4, especially on the stage like Battlefield. But Mithra is perfect for that. Ooh, good choice. <laughs> Trophy Rush, underrated song. Right, Snake. Pelka going to continue to ride with the Snake. I know Pelka does have a couple of other characters that he can play. Yeah. Uh, I know there's a Diddy Kong somewhere in there. I I've believe seen him go Diddy into this. Didn't work out. Yeah, that, that tracks too. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's hard, man. But, you know, I don't think it, we'll, we'll see how it goes here. We'll see what adjustments Pelka can make. Now, already looking pretty good here for Pelka. He, he just needs to keep this going and keep DM from, like, like I said, Weaving in between the grenades, just mixing. Ooh, Ooh. that all. Huh? Okay, okay. <laughs> that all works. Right. It looks like a line drive in the scorebook in the next day. So <laughs> we'll just say that the F smash killed uh, DM right there. In a way. In a way. It, <laughs> it was close. All right, footstool there, up smash. Not, not quite on snake though, but that is a good chunk of damage. Yeah, no. If you're if you're Pelka, you definitely can't afford to take many more of those. Despite being. You know, pretty durable, you know, as Snake, uh, you, you know, the, the kill power behind that down air to the up smash from uh, Pyra, nothing to sleep on. Yeah, that's going to put you into kill percent and then immediately capitalize on it. Some good stuff, man. That's a good move. She needs it. 
<laughs> There's many good moves, I'd say. <laughs> Such as that one. Uh, <laughs> the politically correct answer. She has a lot of good moves. <laughs> But that back air definitely being one of them for sure. Uh, that will, uh, again, get DM uh, on the board here. However, eating 88% on that second stock, and Snake definitely doesn't need much to be able to, you know, get things done around here. Yeah. So. And like I've been saying, the trades are what make the Snake matchup so hard. Like, if you're a character that cannot take the trades and cannot capitalize as much as they can on, um, on their advantage Ooh. state when they get in, it's not going to go well. It's tough stuff, man. Speaking of which. Yeah, good catch with the up tilt right there from Pelka. That will extend this lead here. But let's see what DM can do to get back into the swing of things. Again, it's not going to take much, especially with Pyra on, uh, you know, deck right now. Ooh, I think, I think he tried to stick him there. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> the range of that move, man. He's My dead. goodness. Even Snake was like, Argh. Yeah, Snake! No! All righty, so let's see. Ooh! No way. No way. Oh, if that's Mike. Oh my god. That <laughs> oh, would have been insane. That's Mike. Oh, DM is awakening right now. Yeah, DM is, is very firmly uh, in the driver's seat right now. It was looking like a real good game uh, for oh, Pelka. Oh, oh, very good turned... tech from DM as well. Oh. Yeah, that was a game saving tech right there. So DM still, again, in, in good position uh, to win this game. Huh? I don't quite know what he was trying to do there. You see DM's kind of slapping his hand on I the side. I, I think he wanted to um, drop down and then up B. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what I, I think he was just trying to go for the ledge, and for some reason he was just a little off there. So, you know, again, that was, <laughs> if you're Pelka, you'll take that all the way to the bank like, for sure. Oh, okay. And he's known for that. He does take it to the bank. It's true. As his, as his Instagram <laughs> shows. <laughs> Pelka's so funny, man. He's, I love him. I love Pelka. All righty, so Pelka getting a gift there again after getting put in the blender uh, for that last stock. It looked like Diem was going to run away with that game, but uh, we are here. One one apiece, so we're going to at least see four games out of these two. So yeah. We're here on Kalos. This is giving Pelka a little bit less space to work with, but also going to keep him from getting, com getting his combos extended. So we'll, we'll see who this benefits more. Yeah, no, for sure. So we'll see, uh, you know, how it shakes down here again. Uh, ooh, fun uh, stuff there with the footstools out of the uh, the blazing end. Yeah, trying trying to freeze a, a roll out with the smash flare, but I, I don't know why Snake would roll out there. That's that that is free stage control right there. Yeah, just like sure. thank you for mid stage. Yeah, <laughs> I appreciate you. All right, nice All right. catch. Maybe that's why you, you see DM go to the stage here. That platform does provide a good liftoff area for him. Yeah, uh, catching Snake is just trying to get up there. This is something very hard for a lot of characters to do. Ooh, okay, nice uh, catch right there on the switch from Pelka. And right, grenade saving him there from the blazing end. All right, good F tilt right there from Pelka. Again, gonna set up shop here with the grenades. Yeah, but he's but here's the thing: when Snake is down a stock, he's also taking those trades, so he's getting a little bit of extra credit on himself there. Yeah, it's a very awkward game of cat and mouse for sure. You know, trying to navigate around that. Uh, the dash attack will uh, hit blast zone, but Pelka gonna be able to live to see another day. Yeah, he can't take another hit like that, and that's gonna be safe, or that's gonna happen. I don't know if it's if an explosion no. kills him or if that, he just that got was the C4. That was the C4. That was the C4. Okay. You hate to see it. <laughs> you really do. Uh, Photon Edge not hitting him with the grenade. Okay. All right, Pelka gonna I, again. Pelka's so good at cooking these grenades, man. You know, being able to uh, throw them at just the moment they explode, so that you have to re react to them immediately. Yeah, so. but it's the dinner rush right now. He's got to He's got to cook them out more. <laughs> it's raw. It's raw. <laughs> yeah, right, right there. Yeah, there the lamb sauce right yeah. there. <laughs> yep. No idiot sandwich uh, on that stock right there. <laughs> so, uh, you know, Pelka at least gonna bring it down to an even stock game right here. Foresighting out of the back air. Why is that a thing? <laughs> we, we've got, we've had enough. He hit the B button like eight times right there. Whoa! Okay. I mean, that, I mean, that's what Snake's got to do to survive, really. And then down air, up smash, boom. Alrighty. So DM. Uh, and again, if you're DM, you're definitely still kicking yourself for that last game because uh, you know you could have won 3-0 right there, but uh, instead it's going to be 2-1 in his favor. So Pelka.
Going to get a counter pick here in game four. Curious where we're going to go. Looks like it's going to be small battlefield here. Yeah, he doesn't want him to have that top platform. Don't blame him. Scary up there. What? Oh, perhaps, unless. No, uh, no, I think no, he, he's going back to change music. Smart man. <laughs> I do enjoy that Pelka, like, you know, mo most people go for, like, you know, the other game music. He likes the Super Smash Brothers music like, on these stages. Oh, yeah. I respect it. And, and going back to the Brawl theme, going back to the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> Simpler time. <laughs> what a time. What a time indeed. All right, is, good, is potentially Pelka's winner's bracket life on the line here against DM, who's looking to punch his ticket into grand finals. This is his counter pick, so he's got to make it count. But just like that, DM wasting no time uh, setting up shop at, at the, uh, in the bottom of the screen right there. Yeah, he's, he's taking a lot of these grenades, and oof, DM's just weaving around him too. Taking advantage of Snake being a little bit slow. Not great Not great on the movement. Yeah, it's tough. And again, you know, Pyra being slow as well, but able to make up for it with some insane range on some of her hitboxes. So. Yeah, making up for it with, with, with her down B as well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> being able to switch to a faster character. Let me just slip into something a little bit more comfortable. Ooh, like, I, like, like I said a long time ago, that was foreshadowing there. Both yeah. profiling um, <laughs> that down air with, uh, with a crouch. Okay, C4 will catch DM on landing, though, so Pelka's striking first blood here. That's narrative there. There? Ooh, not quite catching it with the up air. My god, so much damage eaten out of both those grenades exploding. Yeah, that's, a, that's another that's a very dangerous thing about snake grenades. You're accidentally picking them up when you're doing a move, and then, oh, there goes yeah, my move. That's like, ah, there I am. <laughs> All right, so Pelka did a good job, you know, evening things up. Here, CDM trying to get in the game mode here as we are even at two stocks apiece here, but sitting at the century mark. Yeah, that's a very dangerous place to be, especially with Snake. No shortage on kill power. So it's very possible we could be seeing a game five situation unless DM, DM sharpens up here. No, definitely very possible here, but you know, let us see if uh, DM has something left in the tank. The Aegis have great comeback potential uh, as we've seen in past games, but. Pelka looking just a little bit sharper here. Oof. That would have been very good for DM there. Ooh, DM wants it. DM's like, end it, end it, end it, end it. <laughs> yeah, no, and again. No more stock, no more stock, now. Yeah, he's going to hit for, he's trying to hit home runs right now, but it's definitely, you know, not it yeah. working out for him. But Pelka's just hitting him with bunt after bunt after bunt. Right, trying to and it adds up. Yeah, that should act will at least buy him some time. But again, Pelka doing a good job, you know, uh, continuing to add on this damage. Yeah, the end gets too close. It could be enough tilt ending this game. Ooh, trying to get around here. And, and he is at the threshold where all it's going to take is one down throw into into up tilt. It's uh, curtains here for uh, for DM. And that's just what he's doing. He's just going to keep grabbing. Oh man, not like this, man. It's like reverse Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of trying to grab him at zero, he's trying to grab him at 160. <laughs> Everyone in the room knows what he's looking for right now. It's so funny. No way, bro! Are you kidding what? me? What? There's no way! No! Bro! You died at 65! You died of a heart attack! What is that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? That's insane. The rage on that move, too. He was at 155. That was maximum range. Wow. Jesus. Listen, man, he paid good money. That's, listen, <laughs> paid good heart money of a champion, he paid good money for it. But on, on all seriousness, just the heart of a champion, man. That was uh, some, a, some great, uh, that was just great awareness there from, from uh, DM. You know, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Again, 